YouTube. What it do, man? It's your boy, S14. Stefan the Don. Um, I got gum in my mouth. I'm chewing gum right now. Um, how y'all doing today, man? You know, hopefully y'all enjoying y'all Friday. I know some of y'all, y'all gotta go to the club, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know. I gotta go to the class Friday night, especially to California. California Friday night, man. Weekends, club. A lot of people do it, right? And, you know, that's fine and all. But the main important is making sure you're stacking your bread up. Because that's, that's, that's really main important. You know, we can always go to the club, but, you know. But are we going up in life? And that's what it is. And. And, you know, a lot of dudes, y'all can go to the club, go out and party, you know, weekends and, and drink whatever stress away. But that stress going to be there. And, you know, um, I was I was actually on the um, I was talking to my mom, my homie back in New York. And, um, you know, he put up a picture or a meme of like, you know, his boss pissing him off and it has a me like swinging at him and basically I was like dang man you know um, nature's bounty or balance company whatever it's called stressing you out he's like yeah man boss is stupid man he was, and then he was like I need a new career path you know, he's like I need a new career and you know that's what you know a lot of us guys go through you know what I'm saying especially to when it is you want it you know what you wanted you know you want something different out of your life you want a new adventure especially to uh new and more income coming in and, and it's hard because it's like you want it but it's just the goalpost always keeps changing you know the most high is just like not letting you like letting things work in your favor and and you know trust me man you know when you when you go through that time especially too when you you want to be on your purpose but you just don't know what's giving you the drive let's forget the passion part but it's just the drive for it right and it's like you know you, you try certain things and it's just like you feel like you had a dead end and you know and and it sucks it really does suck because it's like, well, I'm on my purpose. Well, I'm trying to do something, but it's not really working for me, right? And it's hard, man. It's very hard, especially, too, as a man, you know. The way females are nowadays, it's like they want these guys with these six-figure earnings and, you know, status. And, you know, you, you got to uh, you gotta be a handsome dude and all that. But, you know, the main import, important thing is purpose, gotta have purpose in life man and and like i was telling eric man you shout out to my homie i didn't mean to bring his name up but i was like yo you gotta try new things um, you know you gotta you know you gotta go outside of your barriers you gotta go outside your horizon sometimes and then you know he he's a father too so it's like he doesn't want to lose time you know with his loved one is his child basically and but at the same time you want you want a different life you want to do a different aspect of life man it is hard bro it's like let me tell you something very big like i said you gotta find what it is that that just you love to do and you just you're not focused like you want to do something that's gonna create wealth but at the same time it has to, the love has to be there. Because, like, a lot of dudes, like, you know, they go to college, they be just like, well, it's gonna bring me 80K a year or, you know, 100 grand a year, but, and I'm not liking it. And then they just like, oh, I'm stuck and I'm not happy, I'm not passionate. Like, I, I've seen it in AMS's live streams. Like, yo, I'm doing all this stuff and I'm putting in the time for it, but I'm not getting my just due because it's, that's not what you really love to do. 
It's not. It's not what you love to do. It's not. And that's why I tell you, that's why me personally, I said this in a video before, you have to find something that that you just love where you put in. You know, I, I'm being realistic. You know, uh, two hours a day plus more in the beginning. Like, you, you got to. And someone like uh, AMS is not going to tell you what it is what you have to do. Someone like Stephens Cole is not going to tell you what you do. Something like Stefan the Don TV is not going to tell you what it is that you need to do. It's got to it's gotta be in here. And that's where the most high gives the gift at. Like, I was reading Russell Simmons' success through stillness, right? Or actually, yeah, yeah, that and the other book too. Crap, what's, what's the name? Uh, I forgot the other book. I forgot the name of it. It's somewhere in my bag. But the book talks about everyone has a gift. And you just, you got to find it. It's a soul-searching thing. You got to you gotta find your hobbies. And that's what I was telling Eric. You got to try new things. You got to try things that you love to do. And he was joking around. Oh, yeah, you know clapping cheeks I, I was like yeah if you want to get into the porno industry and make some money and clap cheeks and you know get some money out of it and get some good money hey go ahead and do that you know these industry entertainments they they love it they, they'll they'll take anything that could you know do their thing you know what i'm saying if, if you're willing to do that you know what i'm saying he thought i was joking i was like yeah you might if if, if that's what it is what you want to do go do it and he was like, yeah, I can run a strip club. Hey, if you know what it is in the strip club, what you want to do, then go do it. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, you know, if you have the idea of, like, what it is you want to do in that field, go ahead. And this to anybody, business, music, uh, modeling, uh, streaming, you know, if, if the love and the grind is there, man, you know. And you working hard, the most high is gonna provide. Everybody gets their shot. It's just what you're gonna do with it. And it's like also too, in the beginning stages, are you willing to fight? Put in their work every day. And you know, for a lot of people, that's that's determines whether you have the entrepreneurial mindset or not. Cause it's gonna take some time, bro. You, you, a lot of people think success is like this and I'm going to tell you bro it's not you go you may hit you may hit something fast or it might take you slow time you know what I'm saying it might take you 5 years if you want to put in work it might take you 5 years you know what I'm saying you got to look at the longevity outcome of everything and that that's what it is and also too like I said in the beginning stages you got to put in extra work you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta make sure the bills is paid first. Like, yeah, you can have what twenty grand in the crib. I mean, yeah, you got twenty grand in the bank, and you think that's gonna last you a year, and your purpose gonna take off in a year? I'm sorry, my G, it's not. It's, it might, but it, it most likely it's not. It takes a long time. You know what I'm saying? It takes a long time, and I learned that too. Uh, when I came out here, I had 15 grand on me, but I had to use that to pay the bills, and I knew, yo, my purpose wasn't, you know what I'm saying, YouTube wasn't clicking right now, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't clicking. YouTube, for me, is still not clicking, but as you can tell, the love and the passion is there. That's why when people say stuff, dumb hate comments, I'm like, the passion is there, I see the vision for it, you know what I'm saying, same thing with modeling, same thing with rapping, you know what I'm saying, but... It's up to you whether you need to put in the work, and that's up to you. What is it for you that's going to take you, that's going to push you to get out of the box? Or are you going to be just like a lot of people back in where I'm from? They just still working that same job. They happy, but they not really, really happy. And then that, that's on you, G. That, that's the main important saying and, and you gotta you gotta really do that soul searching like for me like I love video games man you know what I'm saying and it's 
was fun and I, and I figured out a way how to post the gaming content on there. Is that just like the thing I'm mainly focused on? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But it's like, yo, the love is just there for it. Like even yesterday, I was on um, Omelette Arcade. I used to do live streams all the time. I used to get 100K stream views all the time. And then like I joined this random person, new kid, joined this new kid's uh, stream playing Call of Duty. Some of the people recognized me from that. I mean, I didn't go nowhere. I didn't stop. I post on there, but I didn't do live streams as, like I usually do. Because, you know, I was just more focused on putting things on YouTube. But, you know, when people, like, recognize you and people were saying, yo, man, you were lit back in 2020, I was like, man, I know where to, you know what I'm saying, that, that feeling is there again. And, and that's what a lot of guys want that need is the, the feeling for it. It's just the, it's a, oh, the, the, the desire for it. It's just like, yo, you got to find that, man. I mean, I'm thankful to have, you know, 2020 for that year to, like, do live streams and post so many videos and stuff like that. And I, I still, I'm not making any money off it, but it was just such a beautiful feeling just to, just to have that, just to, you know what I'm saying? Just to, like, people recognize, like, yo, man, you that dude back then, bro. On the IRL streams on Omelette Arcade. I wish I did it on Twitch, but, you know, life changes. I, I plan on doing live streams still. But the, what I'm trying to tell guys is, I wasn't trying to glorify, what I'm trying to tell guys is, man, you know, the purpose has got to give you that feeling for it. I didn't even expect to say that. It's got to give you that feeling like, yo, this is what I love to do, and I know it's going to bring me far in life. I know it's going to try send me there. And it, it's got to do it. Same thing with modeling. Like, I love modeling, bro. And, and it's only the beginning stages, but I love it. I love it. I, lo I love the, the attitude. I love the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? When I was at the runway show, I love looking at the beautiful women there and stuff like that. Because the, the, the purpose was there. You know what I'm saying? Modeling clothes. And, and you got to find that, bro. It's, it's not easy, G. But being on your purpose that's taking you far and being a high value man is very hard. But it's well, it's well worth it when you on that. Not chasing chicks, bro. And, and that's what a lot of you dudes got to do. I, like I said, I don't know what it is for a lot of people, but don't get frustrated. Soul search, man. Soul search for what it is that you love to do. And that's where it really comes from. It's really in the hobbies, bro. You gotta find that. And and um one thing too I noticed, because you know, me and me and my boy Eric, we worked at the same job. It's hard to be on your purpose when you're in a negative environment. And and, and people gonna ask me, oh Stefan, what are you talking about, bro? I gotta get this money. Yeah, you gotta get this money, but when you when you have negativity around you it's hard for you to have a positive outlook on life because there's always somebody saying some naysay or something saying some uh nasty in your ear or it's just saying dirty crap and it's hard to do that some people can't like my father he definitely was working at the same job i was but he really locked in on his goals some people have that strong mindset me personally i haven't developed that yet but what I'm trying to say is, it's, you cannot be in a around environment like that. Because like myself, when I was working the overnight shift, I, I love the money I was making, but I was surrounded by negativity. And then it was a sign from the most high telling me, yo, Steph, Stefan, you got to, whatever it is what you're doing with this Halo video game stuff, you can do that. But you gotta do something else, and and that's where acting come in. And acting really took me out of that world because I was, I was doing acting classes, and then I was like, man, I want to get to advanced classes. My my coach at the time, shout out to Chris, he was like, yeah, come to advanced classes. But I had to switch schedules, and it it changed me. You know what I'm saying? It changed me for the better. Not only that, you know, I got away from those people. 
That's a long. This is a long video. But you know, it got me away from those people. It got me my BMW. You know what I'm saying? Just, just like that. Because why? Because I was surrounded by negativity. You know what I'm saying? And then I was still focused on acting and video games, but I was like, okay, I got two things that are on my purpose now. So I gotta take it further. I gotta keep taking it further. I gotta keep. I gotta keep pushing the criteria, right? So when I did that, everything started changing for me, and that that's why the purpose comes in. You know, sometimes your purpose. You may think your purpose is doing this for you, but it's maybe leading you to somewhere else. And that's what it did for me, because like I didn't think modeling was a thing for me. And this is where it goes back to the beginning of the video. You gotta try new things. I was like, hey, let me try modeling. And like, yo, right now I'm on magazines and stuff like that. And and that that's what I'm talking about. You have to change your environment. That's why I wish this video that I made change your environment. I wish that'd be like 100 k views. That's the most realest video I ever made on this YouTube channel so far. Because that is the main important sequence to really, really pushing it. And I didn't even realize I was doing all this. But now that I understand, I'm learning, I'm giving you information for the next person to do it. The environment has to change. And, and you know, it's going to take some time. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people cannot be like me. Can't just, like, up and jump and leave New, leave New York and uh, go to California. Some people can't do that. But you have to change the friends around you. Uh, well, well, my coworkers were not my friends, so you you have to you have to stray away from that because it's not healthy for you, and that's what I'm talking about. It's not healthy to be in that environment to mess you up. And man, you, you guys got to do it, man, because. We all want to be at peace. Life is about being at peace, man. Not about stressing, uh, clocking and sad at a job you hate. You know what I'm saying? The purpose, once you once you're on your purpose too, you're more happy working at your job. You can be a you can be like me, a janitor, who literally like has the biggest smile in the world. Because why? Because the purpose is pushing you, because you know, okay, I keep doing this or keep doing the things I'm going to do, it's going to take me somewhere different. Different opportunities are coming. That's why the Most High is showing me signs right now. It's showing me different opportunities. But it's just like, not right now, not yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta, gotta find it, man, you know. And, and, you know, this is a very long video, but it must have been said, it must have been said, man. That's that. Guys, don't be hard on yourself really find what it is that you love to do. It's dark, man. I gotta get to the gym. I'm out.